You have your license, please? Yeah. I don't know if you guys realize it, but you guys are on Fort Weaver. I know. In the shoulder lane. This is actually the bike. You see how that sign says bike route right there? I apologize. Yeah, I apologize. You have your registration insurance, please. Dre or Mariah, you guys buy a Fort Weaver? Yeah, I am. Fort Weaver southbound prior to Geiger. Do you have your registration insurance? Um, should I take out the registration insurance, please? Thank you. Oh, sorry, this is the safety inspection. Okay, this is the insurance. This one is actually expired, this insurance, back in 4122. If you want to take this one back. Five two angels off. 3819 traffic stop. 3819, anyway. It's Fort Weaver, southbound, prior to Geiger. And I have a uh, cover headed over. Yeah, that one says April 1st of 2022. 3819, for electric vehicles. Electric Are you able to bring it up on your phone app or anything? Do you guys have the phone app? Yeah, for the, we have the phone. While speaking to you, I can smell a strong odor of um, alcohol coming from your breath as you, as you speak. Um, are you willing to participate no, like in a standardized field sobriety test? Um, no. I'm sorry? I, I, no, I haven't Except done anything wrong. Did you, you said no, you, so no, you don't want to participate in a standardized field sobriety test? No, I haven't done anything wrong. I just stopped and we were talking. Well, you're actually parked in the Shodanina Fort Weaver. I know. I'm Pull off your breath. So, just to make this clear, are you willing to participate in a test or not? I, I don't understand why that's relevant. It's relevant because you're behind the wheel of a car, vehicle is in motion, right? No, the vehicle is not in motion. Ready for motion. Um, when I first pulled up alongside you to check if you guys are okay, you tried to drive off twice and I told you stop right there, I'm checking to see what's going on. So yes, the vehicle was in motion. Now you're exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. So are you willing to participate in a test or not? Sir, I know you said that already, twice. I'm asking you yes or no. I'm not trying to force you. I'm asking you if you want to voluntarily participate in the test. Well, at this point, like I said, I believe you have been drinking, but you may be impaired. So are you willing to participate in the test or no? I, I don't understand what the, what if I say yes or no, I'm not sure. Well, I, again, it depends if you want to say yes or no. I can't coerce you into taking it or not taking it. I, I, I don't see any need to do that. There's no probable cause for that. I stopped on the side of the road to suck. I'm 
Sorry. Well, Matthew, like I already explained to you, twice. You were here on the shoulder. I'm sorry? Yeah, he's going after the guy that just burned out. Okay. So is that officer? I'm pretty sure you guys could just hear that, that car burning out. Chasing after, I agree. Okay. So yes or no? I I no. I I don't. Okay. So no, you do not want to, or no, I don't think. Okay, so I need a simple yes or no. Yes, you got to participate. Yes, you want to, or no, you don't want to participate. Well, you're not giving me a clear explanation of what the consequences are. The, but Sir, no, I, I literally did a couple see, times already. No, you've given me no reason. Okay, Matthew, if you're not going to answer, at this time I'm going to take it as you're refusing to participate. I'm going to ask you to step out of the car. So step out of the vehicle, please. I just want to clarify that you asked me. Matthew, you, you did ask to clarify. I clarified multiple times already. Okay, so step out of the vehicle, please. And I mean, if I said yes, I'd have to step out of the Matthew, vehicle, step right? out of the vehicle, please. Okay. And turn around. Place your hands behind your back. You're putting place on arrest for DUI. But I can not arrest him for DUI. Turn you around, please. Even, I, I will turn. participate then. Do not resist. Then I will participate. Sir, turn around. You want to turn around for me? Put your hands behind your back. Wait, place your hands behind your back. Like Matthew, you place your hands behind your back. Thank you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Place your, hand your back. Matthew, your car, place your please. hands behind okay. your back. You are My under arrest Officer for DUI. My name is Officer Atoll. You're being under arrest for operating vehicle on the influence of intoxication. Kind of this is not a place to pull over and have a car. Right, you could have pulled over 100 yards up there. Okay, first of all, if you've been drinking tonight, you shouldn't be driving here and getting into an argument here in the first place. Okay. So I'm just going to move your bracelet up, sir. Could I take the keys out of my car for Actually, I How about let us handcuff you first? Yeah, We've got to take I, care I of this. I don't understand. You, you, so you gave me no indication of what the consequences were, because I'd be glad to well, take Well, Matthew, a that's sobriety. considered coercion. If I tell you what the consequences are, if you take a test and fail, that's considered coercion. Well, I that could I'd be like leading to you to a decision that I you done anything wrong did not want to make. Okay, so that's why it's voluntary, and I left the decision up to you. But I asked you what the consequences were. And, and I explained to you that I cannot answer you because that could be construed as coercion in court. I don't, I don't which is true. I'm not here to sway you to take the test or not take the test. That is your decision you had to make. I this. I'm trying to cooperate. That's all I know. I think you probably turned around and saw us. Maybe you thought more Okay, we're going to walk you back to the car. We're going to secure you first. What's his first name? Matthew? Matthew. Okay, Matthew, you can call me the back. Do you have any sharp objects in your pocket? You do. Okay. What is it? Nine? Nine? It's like you probably turned this off when you first did it. It should turn this off. I don't know. Turn to Highway G Street. I'm not saying I'm carrying a city here, but it's kind of like a crash. And the only vehicle that was driving was the Eagle's Order Sometimes. Um, Ma'am, is there anybody you can call to come pick you up? Um, I'm assuming here, but my, for you, my safety is, is the most concern. If you've been drinking, I don't want you to drive home also, right? That wouldn't make any sense. So, if you have been drinking, is there somebody that can come pick you up? It's been a couple of hours since we've had a drink. Even if it's been a couple of hours? Well, let's put it this way. I don't know how much you've been drinking. I don't know what you've been drinking. I, obviously, I, I've never met you guys before. So, what I'm trying to say is if you had been drinking tonight, I would err on the side of caution and not drive, right? So, just I by looking at you, know, I can tell you have been drinking because your eyes are red, okay? So, what I'm trying to tell you is I don't want you to drive away and then you get arrested also, okay? So, okay. is there what? anybody, somebody like an Uber or a Lyft, can you call somebody to come pick you up? What's going to happen to the car? You're leaving here. It depends. Honestly, no, because if you've been drinking, I cannot escort you home. And then if you hit something or somebody or another car, but <laughs> then that's that's an issue, yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you want to start looking at like a Lyft, like I said, or an Uber or something, I, or. I Him. Like, let's talk about right now, he's going to be placed. Obviously, he's placed under arrest for DUI. He's going to be transported to the police station where he's going to be offered a, a test, right? Which is a breath test, blood what? test, both or refuse. And then, what from there, it depends on what he what happens with the test, right? If he decides to take a breath test or a blood test, if it's a breath test, we get the results right away. 
It depends if he passes or fails. If he chooses a blood test, unfortunately, we don't get the blood the blood test results right away because it I mean, it goes we to were, a lab. We were arguing. We were, we're having an argument. I get that, man. But you guys are literally on Fort Weaver. I know. This is not we an were, area to we stop and argue. I know, but we were. It was a moment of passion, and we weren't gonna stop here for a long time. And yeah, but if you if you if you look at this, this is not an area to stop and argue on the side of Fort Weaver. Yeah, so. We apologize for that. Okay, so. On top of that, if you guys were drinking, you guys shouldn't have been driving home no, it's in the been first a few place. Hours. So. It's been a few right, but if you since. again, I I don't know what you guys drank, and I'm not asking you to reply, but when I'm. alcoholic and they finish the whole tequila bottle no, no, no. no i'm just giving you yeah, an example I right understand. versus somebody who maybe just had one glass of wine is, it's a big difference it depends right. on that person no, depends on their no. weight depends how much they drink how often they drink their tolerance level i mean i can go on and on about how much it, it's just different for each person no we yeah we understand that yeah okay so what I need you to do is just e either try and start calling somebody to pick you up, meaning like a rideshare or a taxi or whatever you want to do. Um, if there's another adult that's sober no. that lives around here or... So we're going to have to call a rideshare or, or, or something then, okay? Because like I said, I mean, I don't know how much you had to drink. I can tell you've been drinking because I've been, I've been talking to you and I can smell it off your breath. Um, the last thing I would, I would hate for you to drive off and you get arrested too, right? So, okay, so why don't we just start figuring that out? I gotta go finish talking to you. And check on you, okay? So, you see where the car is? It was literally over here, hazard lights on, parked in the shoulder, but initially it was parked on the white line. So I came up, pulled alongside of them, turned on my um, cruise lights, the car was still running. I pulled alongside of him, he tells me he's okay, he starts inching away. So I tell him, hey, stop right there, what's going on? He goes, um, him and his <laughs> target, they're gonna go. I said, no, 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 stop right there, I need to check on you guys. So he inches back up, I tell him, stop. So I did that twice. At that point, uh, I turn on the strobes, get out, talk to him. Immediately, strong odor of alcohol coming off his breath. Yeah, I can smell. Um, his name sounds so familiar. I don't, I don't know where I heard this name before. But um, I'm trying to get. No, I didn't. I literally just told the foot officer over here. I don't know why, but this name sounds familiar. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. Alright, thank you. Okay. Bye. That was the D8 First Watch Lieutenant said that he's a politician. I didn't know that. I don't know who this guy is. I'm not like him. I'm like I'd give him special treatment anyway. So. But um, just 210 and then um, just stay for a little while because I don't want to be left alone here with her until I figure out what's going on with her. Okay. I'm sorry, what is that? His, his what? His cops. His cops. Sorry, like I couldn't hear you. The, the outside is super loud. I'd like you to loosen this. It's really hurting my wrist. Should I come outside real quick? Yeah, I mean, I'm not a flight risk. I know who I am. I, I just. I, I honestly don't know who you are. Should I come step back over here? I have your ID. I know. I, I don't. Should I come step back over here? 
You got your keys. Mine is in my car. Again, I would Mine's gladly, I would like to take the sobriety check okay. that you have. I just okay. So what 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 you, happens you, now is I cannot. Um, you're already placed in handcuffs, so I cannot force you to take a test here, right? Well, I'd like so, to take it. Well, okay, well, let me, hold on, let me explain to you. So the test is done at the station, okay? So the test is a breath, blood, or, or your, oh, sorry, breath, blood, or both. And then um, she's going to read the forms to you at the Kapolei station. And then from there, if you agree to take a test, then... Okay, try to stop um, twisting your wrist, please. Okay, stop, stop. Stop twisting your wrist. No, I'm trying to unlock and lock these cuffs, but you keep twisting your arms. How's this right side? You know, you said that I drove off and I didn't wait, wait, drive stop. off. Wait, wait, stop. Matthew, I'm trying to... I'm trying... I'm literally standing still, officer. Matthew, my body cam is on and it's recording you it's twisting on. your arm. And you're lying. I'm you not lying, lying, Matthew. And it's really upsetting. Matthew, I never lied once tonight. No, you said, like, I tried to drive off. I'm right next to you. Matthew? I... I this is ridiculous. Matthew, you're moving your arms again. So leave it. Yes, I move my arm like a half an inch. Matthew, you asked me to fix these cuffs for you. Because okay? they're too tight. I am fixing it for you, and you keep moving your arms. No, I was not. That's very possible. Okay, step back over here. I would like to take the test okay, turn around, so that we can settle this because like, there's again, nothing Matthew, wrong. Again, Matthew, the test is at the station, so go inside the car. I would like you to explain to me. Matthew, uh, go when, inside when the I car. was in the car, Matthew, you asked, go inside the car. When I Matthew? I asked what the consequences were, you gave me no answer, and Matthew, of, go inside the car. Actually, this is worse. It's my, not worse, my Matthew. Arm, no, my, I don't, Matthew, I, I just checked it, this and worse. it's super loose. This seems to be... Not that I... No, not really. 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 No, they're like... I didn't make it tighter, Matthew. So, um, his bail is most likely going to be fine. Right, can you do me a favor real fast? Me? Yeah. yeah. She says she's not drunk. I, I can smell it. All I want to do is try and pass her just to see if, if she, she is can. above or below the legal no, limit so she can, drive. she can drive. The car. That's just so that she can drive the car if she agrees to do it because that's the only option we have. Other than her because she's saying she doesn't know anybody here to pick her up. Yeah. You're lying that you smell anything because there's nothing to smell. Matthew, I'm not trying to argue with you. Yes, if she lying. wants to. I mean, yeah. Ma'am, do you want to do that? that? That's one option we can do. It's so outrageous. I know, but just, just, just getting a The only thing, the car, yeah, yeah, I was gonna say the only thing about that would be that unfortunately the car would probably get towed yeah. because it's a hazard. Yeah. Like, yeah. 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 Ma'am, did you want to do that just to see if you're good to drive? And is it possible for you to just... Not without knowing if you're above or below the legal limit. Because if we allow you to drive, then it's... We stand okay. the jerk if something happens, right? If you hit something... Yeah. It's kind of just a... It's just a reliability issue, yeah. They're lying, so... This is a... This is a they lied to me about what the consequences were. I said, there's nothing wrong. Sir, and they just said, nobody lied to you about anything. We didn't even discuss any consequences. That's going on. We told you we would take care of that no, at the station. I, I, I yes. Said, I'd like to just let him. Just let him. He's just. He's drunk. Yeah. He's just drunk. Just let him go. He's upset because they were allegedly fighting first. Just let him. Let him vent it. So, ma'am, do you want to do that or? That's what I mean. Okay, so you're, we're gonna go the Uber route? We're gonna have to call a 
Okay. Yeah. But if you can do me a favor, then just call the Uber. We'll get that confirmed. And then just go remove everything from the car that whatever you need from the car. Three eight one nine. Three eight one nine. Standing by. Can you send me a tow wagon, please, for a traffic hazard? Ten four seven one nine confirmation, sir. <coughs> We might have to call either like a cab or something then. Yeah, it's not even Twenty-two fifty-six. Twenty-two fifty-six. Wait, it's almost midnight already, right? Is that when you started holding? No, that's that's wrong. That's twenty-two, sir. Sorry. Twenty-three. Twenty-three thirty-nine. Once Dre gets here, just take him in. Yeah, that's why I wanted somebody to be Yeah. Five seven inspection, put more elements in. Five seven Special page. Okay, ma'am. Can you do me a favor? Just watch out. Okay. Okay, ready? Just take them in and then. She's. I, I got to call um, Lieutenant Kavako to make notifications. If you can just figure out, she's trying to call. Been drinking okay i don't want to drive because if she gets in an accident, cold ones or something yeah. then it's I it's on us SUV. oh I'm calling um lt for notifications and if you can just help her out with this sure. car stuff hey lt i gotta make notifications to you so um i guess this would be considered a, a notoriety case 
Um, I'm on Fort Weaver southbound prior to Geiger, uh, prior to, you know where that lane opens up to get into the shopping center by Genki and Subway and stuff. Um, there's a vehicle in the right shoulder. You know how right there there's, there's three lanes and then there's a, uh, the right side has the right shoulder, yeah. So there's a car hazard lights on. It's a four-door Chevy. Um, and you know that, that shoulder lane is kind of narrow, so the driver's side tires are like on the line of the white solid single lane marking. So I'm coming down, I go check on it because I don't know if it's a stall or what, whatever it is. So I pull alongside of it, my cruise lights are on. I ask the, the there's a male driver, the male in the driver's seat, female in the passenger seat. I ask the male A hey, if they're okay because I didn't know if it was a stall or whatever. And he goes, we're okay, just arguing. So I said, okay, stay right there because if they're arguing, I got to make sure that, you know, both parties are okay, whatever. So he, he tries to drive off, not like speeding off, but the car inches forward, like he took his foot off the brake. And, um... I tell him, hey, sir, stop right there. I need to check on you guys. So I turn on my strobe lights. Um, he tells me, like, he waves me off. Tells me, like, hey, hey, I'm okay. We're okay. And then I tell him again, hey, stop right there. I got to check on you guys. So I exit my car. Again, I tell him, stop. Walk up. Identify him. But immediately, there's a strong odor coming off his breath while I'm talking to him. Um, so I figure out, yeah, they had a little argument. There was nothing further than that. It was just... They both, male and female, said that they pulled over just to, you know, whatever, air their, their sides of the story, whatever happened. And then, um, so I explained to him that, you know, at this point, I could smell the alcohol off his breath. His eyes were red, white, and glassy. And so I offered the standardized field sobriety test. And um, he's trying to lead me on into answering whether he should or shouldn't take the test. What happens if he does? What happens if he doesn't? I explained to him that's cons that could be considered coercion in court, and I cannot lead him to participate or not participate that he would have to make a decision on his own so basically he doesn't make a decision um, at that point I mean we waited for like a couple minutes for him to make a decision he, he doesn't he tells me he actually tells me no he doesn't want to so at that point I had him exit placed him under arrest um, we put him in the car and then at that point um, Bisa the 8 first watch calls me and tells me that um you know, because we started running the rap warning and stuff. And it says that, I guess this guy's a politician. His name is Matthew Lopresti. So, I, um, Otto was with me. And um, when I gave her the license to um, do the booking and stuff, I, I did look at the name. I was like, oh, I heard this name before. I just don't know where I heard it, you know. So, he's a what? Oh, okay. So, I'm just letting you know that... Um, uh, you know, again, it's probably going to be considered on a notoriety. Just making notifications to you, okay? Um, me and Dre she has been drinking too. Her eyes are, are red. She's carried. I can guarantee you, she has to be over a zero eight. I mean, she's only a passenger. That's not my point. The point is just that I need to get her home safely. So I'm trying to get her to call an Uber or a Lyft, but her phone is not working. Literally, she's like she's standing right in front of me. And she's trying to open the Uber app and it keeps crashing on her phone. So if you're okay with it, um, we're waiting for a tow wagon because um, I guess them up, her up, right? So if it worse comes to worse, I mean, are you would escort? But then, um, I mean, at that point, I could. It's, it is. But I could um, get another officer over here and just park the car, bring it back, you know, park it in the shopping center, and then go courtesy transport her. I mean, I'm not, I'm not trying to do any special favors because of who they are or anything. It's just by the time the tow, I don't want to be here any longer, just based off those circumstances. So if you're okay with that, then yeah, 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 still rolling. Okay. And then uh, if you need anything, just call me. Um, just 210. Um, he did have, his, his insurance was expired in April, but it's kind of recent enough. But I mean, we're probably just going to. She's unable to, so. Okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, bye.
no negative. It's not the turn around. It's going off the silhouette. I know Jane is at the, the station with an arrest. Jason's at the station with an arrest. Where's Dallas? God, I don't know. Yeah, I never. I don't know if Dallas has an arrest. I didn't, I didn't see him on anything on the um, That parking lot is kind of far, so what I wanted to do was get a third car here, um, have somebody go park it in the shopping center, I'll bring them back. Or actually, you can just. Yeah, and then we'll escort her. Um, yeah, just courtesy transport her and then have somebody escort you. Uh, is anybody near Fort Weaver and Geiger for courtesy transport? Uh, you can not ever off right now. Should I come down southbound Fort Weaver prior to Geiger? <laughs> that um, I'm not trying to do any extra favors just because of whatever your guys status is right yeah but <laughs> okay so yeah. what we're gonna I'm waiting for another officer to get here what we're gonna do is um, if you give us permission we're gonna go park your car in the Genki parking lot okay. over here in the Eva what is this Eva shopping center yeah. whatever it's called um, and then we're gonna courtesy transport you home if that's Thank okay you with so you. Much. Yes, okay. that is. Yeah, I just cancel the tow wagon. So I'm just Thank waiting you. for another officer to get here so that I can go follow him because. And then um, this officer will probably court courtesy um, transport you home, and then somebody will escort you guys. Okay. 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 Can we follow the officer who drives the car over there? So that he yeah. Can keep... Well. I mean, for later, um, hopefully no, no, no. So it. whenever this third, whoever this third officer yes. is that shows up, okay, I'm okay. gonna go follow him. You guys will stay here, okay? Because I gotta go pick him up, bring him back. Yeah, yeah, got it. And then, because his car is gonna be here, got it. Yep. and then I gotta bring him back to his car, Thank and then you. two of my officers will, will courtesy Thank transport you. you home, okay? I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, the the cab lady was like, I need a, well, I need an address. I was like, oh. There is no address Between here. Kolowaka and Geiger, I don't know. Oh. Hello? Unless I just go park it already and just start walking back. Okay. I can go do it. Ma'am, do you have the key? Do you need anything else from the car before I, I park no, I it? Everything. You sure? Yeah. And then just to make sure, on, I need I need another camera. To
You know, I get it for you in just a couple minutes. I just parked the car and I'm walking back like a quarter mile to get back to the scene. <laughs> so uh, when I get back there, I'm gonna go show her where the car is parked and then I'll, I'll send you that information. Okay? Okay. Yeah, you can cancel. Thanks, bro. You can cancel, bro. Huh? No, I was gonna. We, we were gonna. Um, I was gonna. Oh, nah, that's alright. I'm already almost there. Almost there. Hold on. Okay. I'm good. Thank you. Hey man, here's your keys. And then Dre, if you could just jot down your information real quick and then we're gonna do the courtesy transfer.
where the car is okay. parked. It's right in front of Genki. Cool. Alright. I'm okay. gonna put you on my driver side. Then just pull in front of me. Seen is safe.